This is the hardest bend in plumbing, and I'm gonna show you how to do it now. We're gonna do a crossover over the top of this pipe and then lead it onto there in 22 mil, which means not only will our measurements have to be accurate, but also our biceps and our latissimus dorsi, and perhaps even our pecs, will also need to engage. Let's go. Here we go, crossover with 22 mil. Now some of you might just want to bend the most exact like one if you like, but I just like putting the, because we've got lots of pipe here today, measuring it and just putting it right in the middle, all right, of where we've got to be. So the first thing I do is bend the actual saddle of the bend first. So we just get it in here, normal pipe bender that we've got at the moment, and we bend our saddle. <laughs> Jesus, so hard to do with 22 mil. There we go. She's being bent now. Probably a bit more than that. Okay, and we're just gonna bend to that mark there, okay? Like that, that mark, all right? Then what you do, you take out the bend. We've got a pipe that we need to go over that, that, that's that far. If you really have a flaw that you can draw on, then maybe just draw on it like so, if you like, okay? But once you've got that mark there, you can line that up over the top, like so. You've got a mark on there, and then a mark on here. So the first bend we'll do is that one here. And we pop that in there like so. Pop our former in, nip it all up so it's nice and tight. Yet again, get it on our hips, make sure it's nice and straight. Something like that, with any luck. And then we just pull that out straight. I'm gonna to go to just about there, I'm happy there. I, always, I tend to do these by eye, but I might have just slightly overbent that, but we shall see. I think you know what we're gonna do next, guys. We're gonna pull her out and we're gonna do the same this way but we're gonna to have to move our pencil mark, which is there. We have to kind of bring it round to the other side of the pipe so we can actually see it. Nip her up, like so. Up again on the end, make sure it's straight. Like that, something like that, yeah? I'll have to cut this back a little bit. I mean, it's a hefty old bend over the top there, but it's gonna do its job. I want to say guys, if you enjoy what you're watching now, I'm doing a whole video on this whole setup. If you aren't subscribed, click subscribe. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, click the old like and follow and all the rest of it. There you go, that's how you do a nice little crossover like that. Quite a big back crossover there, but it accentuates the uh, absolute fantastic job that is doing a crossover. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be doing loads more pipe work here. We're gonna be showing how this system works. So if you haven't done already, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hold tight.